Okay, friends, we are going to jump right in. So at the end, literally, New Year's Eve, I posted asking if any of you would basically like to be my wholesaler, basically meaning you would thrift, charge me a fee, and ship it to me, and I would pay you that fee, and we would work out um, like a deal that way. And I posted that video, you guys, let me silence my phone, and my oh my, if I can find the footage, I will put it in here now. I would love it if any of you are interested in like doing like a wholesale situation. I thought of like joining some groups because there's some Facebook groups you can join where if you're a reseller um, and you're looking for someone to wholesale for you. And what I mean, I mean thrifted wholesaling. I'm not talking liquidation. I mean, if you are a liquidation company, you want to reach out, fine. But I'm talking about, are you someone that like just did what I do, just did now, goes to the bins, and instead of listing it and selling it yourself, are you interested in maybe selling it to me in bulk? This has become like a new thing. It's not new, you guys. A lot of people have been doing this for a long time. Maybe we could work something out. Um, a couple of my reselling friends already do this, where they have people around the country that thrift for them. Um, like, I'm giving you a basic example. One of my friends that lives here has a wholesale person that lives in, she lives in Salt Lake City, Utah. And the person loves thrifting, but she does not love listing and storing it. So. Once a week, they have a video chat where the girl will show her, let's say, like, I think the last meet she had, they went through, like, 200 items. Um, the girl goes to the Goodwill outlet in Salt Lake. She pays, I think she said her cost of goods is, like, $2 per item or $1 per item. The Salt Lake City, Utah um, bins are way more affordable than here. I think it's a dollar per item. She charges my friend, based on the item, anywhere from 5 to $10 per item. $10 is, like, a high-end item and then my friend gets things shipped to her 100 to 200 items shipped to her every single week and it's a great deal the girl gets to thrift and have fun and she still makes you know profit and then my friend gets inventory because in Los Angeles just driving here took me an hour the gas the inventory prices so that's the kind of thing I would love to work out maybe with one of you guys if you're interested. Let me know. I was not expecting the overwhelming response that I got. By the way, everything I'm going to show you right now is actually a thrifted wholesale order that came in. I pay this wholesaler anywhere between $4 and $5. $4 and $4.50 per item. It's amazing. Uh, one of the items I have on is this Zara top. It has these cute little buttons. I don't know by, I don't know if you can see that. By the grace of God, let me back up so you don't see. By the grace of God, you guys, I was able to squeeze into a size small. I have not been able to do that since two kids ago. If you're new here, I had a baby 10 months ago, so I gotta be delicate because we're hanging on by a thread. But so yeah, $4 to $4.50 per item shipped to me. It is amazing. I work full time, so I love, I love this, but I'm gonna tell you some story times. Everlane, 100% cotton pants. These are a size 31, really nice color. They're loose fitting, perfect, like a mint green color. I was not expecting the overwhelming response I got to that video. I thought, oh, maybe I'll get like 10 people to respond and then maybe I'll be able to get like five wholesale people out of that. I got over 150 responses. I am so sorry if I missed any of you. This was months ago. I did really diligently try to get back to every single one of you. If I did not, please don't hate me. I am so sorry. I did not think that I would get that many people to respond to me, which like was like a light bulb that went off. There are so many of you, or maybe you've never thought about this as a business model. I'm gonna try to tell this story and show you the things that I got, basically the thrift haul. This is Saga, S-A-G-A, made in Italy, very much like a lag and look brand, very stretchy. This is 100% cotton. This probably retailed for like $150, $200, so that's really awesome. Um, there are a lot of you that maybe you like thrifting and you like sourcing, but you don't like the listing, the photographing. There are a ton of resellers like myself who don't have the time to source. I feel like most of us are part-time resellers. A lot of us have full-time jobs or full-time children or whatever you have going on. 
and you just don't have the time to source or maybe you are full-time and you just want a ton of inventory there's a market for both of us so there's there's a untapped market of wholesale people that I feel like if you don't like listing, you don't like photographing, you could be a wholesaler. You could go out, you could go to the bins, you could thrift, buy things wholesale, buy pallets, however you want to do it, and then sell it to other resellers because there are so many people like myself, like I said, I don't have the time to go out and get every week like two, three, four hundred items. So it's great to have it come to my door. But then also resellers keep an eye out because there are a ton of wholesalers that are popping up. They're creating their own websites where you can buy th things and source from them directly. Um, so yeah, I thought that that would be something to share because maybe you can't source, then you could find a wholesaler, or maybe you don't like listing or photographing, so you could just be a wholesaler. Rag and bone dress, rag and bone is very expensive. This is a size extra small, it's 100% cotton, it has pockets. This is very oversized. I was gonna say, should I try and squeeze into this and keep it? No, I'm not getting into an extra small. By the grace of God, we got into this small. Let's not push it, Nikki. <laughs> Reformation, this is a really good order. Reformation, really stretchy, oversized, long sleeve t-shirt. I think this one is also 100% cotton. I love selling Reformation. Um, some of this stuff you guys will be, yeah, 100% cotton. I will be selling in my upcoming Poshmark live show. A little live selling update. I won't talk too long about this because I know some of you don't care and then we'll get back to wholesaling. I've trying to, I've been trying to stick to a schedule where I go live every Thursday evening on Poshmark and I've only missed one out of five evenings. I only missed one and that is because my grandfather passed away. So I feel like that gives me a little ticket out, right? So otherwise I've been consistent. I always link them down below and some of this stuff will be for sale in the live sale. Some of it I will list. This is Abercrombie and Fitch size small. Um, elastic white, are these pants? Oh no, it's a skirt. Elastic waistband with the high slit skirts. A lot of this stuff this wholesaler sends me literally looks like it's brand new. Like that looked new. Um, one of the things that also was a learning experience for me because I've never done this is that a lot of the prices for wholesaling were more than I expected. I, I know that I was living in like a dream world. I was thinking like, oh, I'll pay like five, six bucks per item some wholesalers so what ended up happening is i got overwhelmed i got 150 emails and basically like the first 50 people i tried not even 50 let's be real i think it was more like the first 20 people i tried to work out a deal you know and try them out but then after that it was too much you guys i was like there's no way i really wanted to buy from everybody that emailed me but I would be out like, I don't know, like $40,000 or something because it was a lot of people. It's just, I was not expecting the response. So like a hundred people, I just basically had to say, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect, basically what I'm telling you, I didn't expect to get such an overwhelming response. Um, I'll keep your information for the future. That's probably not the response a lot of you were expecting, but I was not expecting so many people. So that's a reason why I say there's a big market if you need inventory maybe ask your reselling friends um, if you have social media put a message out because there's a lot of people that want to sell you their stuff but i also just wasn't expecting like a lot of people were basically pricing their items anywhere from like three up to twenty dollars per item you have to think about it and i realize this a lot of the people i'm buying from are resellers or were resellers so they know the value of things um but there were certain items that I was just like, I just, there's no money for me to make if I, I, if you charge me $20 plus shipping and I sell it for like $35. There were some items that I did pay up for, like one um, Gucci blazer I paid, I think, $22 for. And I already sold that actually for $200 and something on the real real. So some things I paid up, but I think overall... Um, there were a lot of things that I was just like, I can't pay that price. And I was just honest about it. So I did end up like having like a working relationship. I say air quotes because it's kind of like a loose working relationship where about five people are sending me things weekly and it is amazing. So right now, weekly to my door, well, it doesn't go to my door, it goes to my PO box. I'm getting about 100 to 300 items per week 
300 is a stretch. I think I've only gotten 300 once. I'm usually getting about one to like 200 items per week sent to me and it is amazing. I love it. Um, they invoice me. I pay the invoice. It's awesome, you guys. I love it. And this is my favorite wholesaler. Um, this haul I'm showing you right now. Everlane Organic Cotton Size Medium Long Sleeve Ribbed T-Shirt. So there's just a little update on that and also like some reselling like business ideas for you guys that any of you can do this. You can do reselling however you want. You guys know I'm always preaching that. Athleta Size Extra Small. Again, another piece that literally looks brand new without the tags. This looks like it's never been worn. Very oversized. I might actually keep that. I am a big fan of Athleta. I almost like Athleta more than I like Lululemon, you guys. Torrid, this is a really nice stretchy um, like waffle knit lightweight shirt that also, again, looks new without the tags. Uh, what is this? Marina Rinaldi. Oh, this brand can retail for quite a bit sometimes. Um, a very soft, stretchy, long sleeve, got kind of like a color block. This is like a lilac pink color. I'm so scared that this button is going to pop open. <laughs> this is 56% viscose. It says a viscose yarn blend, 14% silk, 30% polyamide. It's very soft, so nice. Um, this is a newer to me brand. It's Par Pablo Gerard Daryl. I looked this up before I started filming. Let me show you up close of the tag in case you've never seen it before. Here's what the tag looks like. Oh, focus camera. Focus. There you go. There's the tag. Um, ow! <laughs> Just hit my back and kicked the camera. The This brand can retail for a lot, you guys. This is a cotton or linen. 100% linen. Uh, is this made in Paris? Design sportswear. Oh, I didn't know it was a Parisian brand. Nice. I did look it up and I knew it retailed for a lot. This is a Zara dress. This is the type of Zara I like to sell. Stuff that has like unique prints, stands out, and I've seen photographed. I've actually seen this on one of my favorite fashion bloggers. Yes, I still read blogs. I know that's so like 20 years ago, <laughs> but I still, I have a couple, not even a couple, I have quite a few bloggers that I actually go to their blogs and read their blogs. This is a brand I have not sold in a minute. This is Cynthia Rowley. This is new without the tags and it's 100% linen. I will sell this because it's 100% linen, it's new without the tags, and I really like the print. But Cynthia Rowley, I used to love, like five, six years ago, I did really well selling Cynthia Rowley dresses on that up. I would pick it up from the Goodwill outlet, the thrift store, and I would make so much money, um, especially the more unique prints like that. But we'll see. I don't I don't think I have any Cynthia Rowley currently listed in my eBay store. So marine layer, really stretchy, soft, cropped um, T-shirt. I didn't know. This is how much I shop online. I didn't know we have a couple marine layer like physical stores in Los Angeles. I didn't know that. And I'm pretty sure they're a California based brand. I think they were founded in California. This is new with the tags, BCBG Max Azria, size small, really pretty. Uh, no, this isn't a size small, size large, right? Why did I say small? Yeah, size large, really pretty flowy. We've got the lace detail at the bottom top. That's really pretty. Nike size medium, really stretchy tank. I can't keep everything. I was gonna say, this is cute. I should keep this. Can't keep everything. <laughs> Uh, made well size small this one is a uh, merino wool I think this is nice this retailed for over a hundred dollars at made well 60% merino wool 40% nylon long cardigan this is very heavy this probably weighs close to two pounds it has pockets it is so soft um, not in season for where I live but it gets cold in the spring and it's cold Somewhere it just snowed. Where was it? Like Minnesota or something yesterday? So that I list stuff year round. I always tell you guys this. I list winter coats in July. I would list bathing suits in January. I do not care. It is cold or warm somewhere in this planet, somewhere on this planet at all times. Size small. This is a oversized knit um, made well sweater. This is in very good condition. I don't know if it's new. This looks like it's been worn, but it's in really good condition. Another heavy piece. 
You can't keep it, Nikki. Um, that weighs probably two pounds too. That's gonna keep you really warm. This is Dolan. Dolan size extra small. This is awesome. This is a romper. I feel like this is silk. Is it polyester parading around with a silk mask on? I can't find the material tag, but very nice. Um, I don't have a lot of experience selling Dolan, so we shall see. This is Year of Ours. Year of Ours. O U R S. This is sold at Urban Outfitters. These are new without the tags. Perfect for spring. Love the color. Love the pockets. Very stretchy, bright biker shorts. This is a great haul. The Couples, very expensive brand. I sell this mostly on consignment. I've sold it a lot on ThreadUp in the Real Real. Size 32. This also feels like silk. Made in Poland. Let's see. Oh, it's 98% wool, 2% elastane. There you go. And it has the style name, which I love. I love when they have the style name because I can look it up. Athleta leggings, gray, uh, gussets in great condition. These have been worn, but they don't look like super worn. I love Athleta leggings. Listen, if you are addicted to Lululemon, that's fine. I get it. Give Athleta a try. It is I was gonna say it's better quality. It's just as good, if not better, than Lululemon with like a little bit of a price discount. I'm not gonna like sit here and be like, Lou, our Athleta is so much more affordable. It's not brand new, but uh, pre-owned, I feel like you can find it a lot easier and it is a little bit more affordable than Lululemon new and it's, in my opinion, a bit better, but I like them both. This is City Chic size 18. They do vanity sizing, or do they? I don't know. Is this like a true size 18? Really nice um, print, and I love the color. Elastic waist. I don't have that much experience selling City Chic. Do you guys? This is a really nice, uh, I don't know if it's maxi or midi because I'm sitting down. I'm trying to see if this looks new. Um... Yeah, this looks like a true size 18. Well, I said they do vanity sizing because it says medium size 18, so kind of vanity sizing. I did it again, you guys. <laughs> I started packaging and I forgot to show you the item, but I have like 10 more items to package, so it's okay. This is the first one. I'll put the listing on the screen. It sold for $80, $85, I don't know. It was a full price sale. It was great. It sold in less than a month. I love selling skims. I, uh, let me rephrase that because a lot of people found me on live sales. I would turn the camera around, but I look crazy right now. Um, wrangling two children in the morning is still a learning process for me. Donovan had some type of like infection in the lungs, poor baby, 10 months old. It was super scary. Um, and then Zane is just a toddler being a toddler. So <laughs> I will not show you me currently, or maybe I will because this is the reality, but I love listing skims, not the biggest fan of live selling it. A lot of people found me on live sales from skims because when I started live selling, I got like three pallets of skims and that's all I live sold literally for a year. I make so much more money just listing it traditionally and letting it sell. This similar catsuit I probably could have sold on a live sale for like 50 bucks listing it. It took longer. It took a month, but who cares? It was a full price sale. So like 99% of the skims, if you don't know what skims is, it's Kim Kardashian's like clothing slash intimate slash shapewear line. It's very popular. I buy it locally from my distributor here in LA. I don't buy it, you know, online. I don't, I've never purchased skims other than going and picking it up from my person. I get the best deal that way. I literally pack it in my SUV and take it home. I've never purchased skims any other way. Um, here is another full price sale, another personal brand of mine that I really like um, because I'm saying another because I personally like skims a lot and I love this dress. I was going to keep it, but I have enough dresses. This was a full price sale, House of CB, definitely a brand to know, very trendy, fashionable, like mid-range brand. This dress retailed for whoa I don't know like at what point do we call things mid-range and do we call things luxury I don't know because 239 I, I, it's not designer right but it, I, I would say this is like a mid-range brand yeah 
I'll have to look up the actual definition though. But anyways, I thought of keeping this. I'm glad I didn't because it sold in two months for full price. So let's package this up and get it going. Who remembers this jean unboxing? I'm trying to hang things. I should get like a rack in here. Sandro Paris. Remember I got this in the Goodwill Outlet Mystery Box. I told you these I told you that just this jean would pay for that box. This is horribly hung up. Um, this sold for $30? $30? I'll be putting the listings on the screen. And remember, that bo that bag cost me $20. I've already had almost like five items from that bag sale, so everything is profit. I'm going to take these home and steam these. Um these just look too wrinkled for me. So I was going to package these up right now, but I'm going to take them home, steam them, make them look better and send them off. Well, friends, <laughs> listing 20 to 40 items a day really works because this is so funny. I just have a bra hanging here. Just got a full price sale on APL slides, which are actually right here. I'll put the listing on the screen. I have these. This is goes to show you that relisting things sells works. I mean, <laughs> works is what I'm trying I had to these say. listed for over a year and if you are new around here I go through and do inventory twice a year meaning I go through every single one of these bins I take everything out I check it I take the listing down and then I relist the item sometimes I do new photos a lot of times I'll just change some words in the listing maybe update the price I do that twice a year it is very time consuming when you have about 1400 active items but these i had listed for six months a year well i know that i've just relisted them for the first time yesterday so i've had them for the floor in here you guys it's a very industrial storage unit but it is very secure there are cameras everywhere and it is air conditioned and uh what do they call it temperature controlled so whatever it's just the floors are wild. Don't focus on that. Um, so these are relisted and they just sold for full price. I love it. Super expensive, um, sustainable. I believe they're sustainable. They use a lot of recycled plastics and things. Very expensive shoes. These retailed for like $140. And I am happy to see these go. Bye-bye. <laughs> Anyways, oh, this is what I was telling you about. This, everything is not a full price um high profit sale. This is a Playtex bra. I had a Nordstrom palette that I'm not joking was a dream palette for me. It was about 3000 bras, literally 3000 bras. And you guys know, I love selling intimates. This is one of the, I don't want to say lower end, but more affordable bras. This is Playtex, which I didn't know Playtex was so affordable. This bra retails new for like 10 or 15 bucks. So I'm lucky that this even sold for $11. At first I was just going to donate it to my local women's shelter. I donate about one to two boxes a month to them, sometimes more. They need a lot of intimates. So if you guys have any shelters near you, they need a lot of socks, underwear, bras. They prefer them in new condition. At least mine does. But I was like, you know what? Some plus size lady needs this. So this sold for 11 bucks. Everything can't be a million dollar sale, right? Here is another skim sale. Uh, this is a horrible depiction of this bodysuit. It's so soft. This is a 4X, new with tags, love selling skims. I'm listing it. I'm still buying it, buying the pieces I know that'll sell for good profit and listing it. So yeah, this sold for, I don't remember. I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> I can't remember, you guys. Luckily, I can just go to my sales and put the listing on and the screen. And if this video wasn't long enough, I thought, let's go thrifting. I do not have the best luck at this thrift store. Well, let me take that back. I don't find a lot of quantity at this thrift store, but I usually walk out with at least two to three pieces from this location that I can resell for over like 20 bucks. This loft sweater felt so soft you guys i was like this for sure has to have like some moldals some cashmere could not find a material tag and this week i've been finding a lot of new with tag stuff from brands i've never found before like um in the last video remember we found what was it cynthia rowley or liz claiborne and now i'm finding loft new with tags thought about picking this up for myself we're getting married soon in malibu and i thought oh maybe i could wear that 
like on the way to the venue. I don't know, you guys. It was a little like no brand sweatshirt that said Malibu and I thought it would be cute to keep for the wedding, but um, I passed because it had some stains. Style & Co, this is their newer tag. Style & Co is a brand that's actually sold at Macy's that I occasionally will pick up because some of the dresses, some of the sweaters with the more unique prints actually have decent comps. Don't sleep on Macy brands, friends, you guys. Uh, Macy's has a following. Um, and usually they know what they want. Not everything from a Macy's brand like Ink or Style & Co will sell great. You definitely need to look up comps. There's a lot of like older style stuff listed that just doesn't sell, but um, some other stuff can retail for quite a bit, especially if you can find a newer tag piece. But that sweater was just not in the best condition and it just wasn't a standout piece. Um, one thing I love about this store though, they color coordinate the aisles. I appreciate that. An Aether store that takes the time to do that. I do occasionally sell Disney merchandise stuff that's like specifically sold from Disney, but you have to look up comps because first of all, just look up comps in general. You hear me say that all the time. How do I check comps? I do it on the eBay app. Um, not all of the Disney stuff sells great, and some items um, are more flooded on the market than others. I decided to pass on that one. A lot of the stuff in this store, I've noticed, is not like in the best condition. A lot of mall brands, nothing wrong with mall brands, but a lot of stuff that's like uh, not more unique pieces from a mall brand. Um, <laughs> this reminded me of my childhood. Growing up, when I was a little tiny kid, my mom watched Seinfeld. I think it came on like Thursdays. So I kind of grew up watching that show when I was really young. Tommy Hilfiger is a brand. It's like a brand I almost always pick up at the Goodwill outlet. At the thrift store, I'm way more selective with it. I like the selling their blazers, their men's blazers, a lot of their men's clothing. But at, uh, the women's stuff tends to sit a little bit more unless it's like a dress, a coat. I do sell, though, quite a bit of Tommy Hilfiger um, on ThreadUp and on eBay. Don't have that much experience selling it on Poshmark. It just doesn't sell for me there. Uh, look at this. So we went from pinks and now they have yellows and then we're going to move to like a orange slash brown motif. I love it. I love that they do this. This was an interesting BCBG Max Azria sweater. It kind of gave me like granny vibes. Maybe I could have titled that granny core. Um, that's the type of BCBG Max Azria piece I like to pick up, or a more recent piece. Um, but I do all right selling it, you guys. I've sold it quite a bit on Poshmark, eBay, ThreadUp. I sell it everywhere, but it uh, needs to be a more unique piece like that one. I passed on that one because it had a very odd smell. This White House Black Market cardigan I thought was very nice. That probably retailed for a bit. It was very long, but it was white, and I saw some stains on it. I just don't have the best luck with thrifting white items, you guys. I pick them up, I get them home, and somehow a stain appears on the way from the thrift store to my home. So I just stopped. This blank NYC jacket, I used to flip blank white NYC like for so much money, like six, seven years ago. I picked this up because orange tags on this day were 50% off, so this was only $5. It's a size medium, great condition. I think I'm either going to sell that in a live sale or I'm going to keep it. That's a perfect little work um, jacket for me that I can wear for my full-time job. I can wear for real estate. Um, so if it doesn't sell, I will keep it. I don't really list blank NYC anymore because it just doesn't sell for me. Okay, this is kind of a tag that said it retailed for $195. They only had this marked at $6. I could not find a brand. I looked up the Hoffa and Gin, which I think is a clothing store here in Los Angeles, but I looked up that Hari Harari name that's on the tag, and that's not the brand tag. So I don't know if I totally missed out on something special here. I couldn't find a brand tag anywhere. Um, just a bunch of random tags. So I don't know if this was a sample piece. You find a lot of stuff like this in Los Angeles. We have a lot of boutique brands here, a lot of startup brands here that sometimes they just donate a lot of their sample pieces 
or stores like boutique stores will donate their pieces that don't sell to Goodwill but then it's really hard sometimes to find information on them because a lot of stuff doesn't have brand tags so if you knew what that was let me know in the comments down below I searched every single thing I found on that price tag that said $195 and I couldn't find anything online so I decided to pass on it maybe that was a huge mistake because it was only seven dollars but I mean if I can't sell it I can't sell it that's why I always say everything new with tags isn't worth picking up but maybe you guys saw something and I didn't see that happens all the time where you guys will be like Nikki why didn't you pick this up you missed this you skipped that so I don't know um they also here's another case in point when I say like brands will just donate. This was a brand called Bay, B-A-E, and they had, I am not kidding, probably like a hundred of these tracksuit sets. So sweatshirt and sweatpants sets. They had them all priced at about $15. They had them in pink, green, blue. So I'm assuming the brand or the store donated these directly. I loved this, you guys. This is vintage. It is a size 10. Um, but I couldn't make out like the material. You'll see the material tags a little bit faded. And it, I'm so, I don't know, I'm so torn. I might go back and pick this up. This had some stains. And so I was like, man, it, I should probably get my dry cleaner to stain treat that. That is such a, I just feel like that's a standout piece that if that did not sell, which it may take some time to sell, I would keep it for myself. I love vintage blazers, vintage dresses. They're just such good quality and I love the style of them. Vintage takes a little bit longer for me to sell. I'm not a vintage expert but I just love a lot of the vintage pieces I find. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I ended up picking up two items, a Barefoot Dreams cardigan and the blank NYC jacket that I will either sell or keep. Um, I did film a short form video on the Barefoot Dreams uh, cardigan, so that's coming up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these longer videos. You've told me you like them, so I'm going to keep making them. They are just like a mash of a couple days of reselling work for me. So don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you soon. Probably tomorrow, you guys. I'm uploading daily right now. So subscribe, and we'll do it again.